Guys, I am so excited to play World of Warcraft again. I am so excited for the war within. It's been a very, very, very long time that I've not been that excited for a new content or a new expansion coming for a video game. And this makes my gaming heart beating faster and it feels so good. Hi guys, I'm Eloa. Welcome for a new episode of Eloa the Rantosaurus, a stereo video where I'm talking about video game, MMORPG, content creation and more. In this episode I will explain you why I'm so excited for the war within and to play World of Warcraft in general. Well, first of all, I have been sharing a video last week where I was explaining that I have been uninstalling every MMORPG from my computer to simplify my life and to only leave me with MMORPG. Embers Adrift, which is the indie MMORPG I'm the community manager for, so it's kind of work. And then World of Warcraft, which is my uh, holiday game or the game I play for my own enjoyment, for my own selfish enjoyment, where I have no responsibility, I don't need to care and pay attention to anyone, just myself and my enjoyment. But by removing all other games from my computer and from my vision, it really allowed me to just focus on World of Warcraft and to be able to dive deeper to follow the tweets of the content creator, to follow the news, to check a wow haired article, all those kind of things that I didn't have the time to do before because I was spread between too many games and that now I am doing and it participates to the excitement. When you just play a game like a tourist once in a while, it's you don't have the time to create a relationship with the game. While here, I am really back into World of Warcraft. Another thing that is really fantastic is that at the moment World of Warcraft is divided in two branches. The classic version of the game and the retail, the modern version of the game. Which allow me to uh, do a little tour into my past and to rediscover things that I had forgotten. It's also on a psychological level diving into some of my personal memories that are intertwined with the game and it's kind of a uh, going back to the source or revisiting your childhood, something like that. It is very precious on a certain level and that is uniquely done with World of Warcraft because they have released again the old game, untouched almost. Yeah, play, Season of Discord is very touched. All right, but it's still the same game, it's still the same essence, it's still parkouring uh, the landscape of 20 years ago. Oh, oh my god, that's so long ago. On the other hand, now that World of Warcraft have released the classic version of the game, and there's many modes with that classic version of the game, you have Hardcore, you have uh, Classic Classic, you have Season of Discovery, you have uh, Classic uh, Cataclysm now, and they will probably go back to Burning Crusade and stuff like that. Who knows what they will be doing, but they are doing that. So they're kind of preserving the identity of what World of Warcraft once was for the people that really enjoy that version of the game and want to keep continuing playing that, which give them more freedom to evolve the modern version of World of Warcraft. And uh, not being afraid of alienating some players because those players are playing the classic version of the game anyway. So they go full into something different, something else. Something that maybe they would not have allowed themselves as much in the previous expansion because they were afraid to irritate or to lose those players. Now they're not losing those players, they are enjoying themselves into classic. So that's great. And this is really, really promising because um, it's a new era for World of Warcraft. And on top of that, the leadership of Blizzard has changed. You see new people at the head. It seems that the game is in much better hands. And even if I do not really have the knowledge of all those persons on a personal level, from what I heard and from the feeling of some other content creator 
that I trust, I have a good feeling was their opinion. And so, for example, I really do trust the opinion of Taliesin and Evital. I never had the chance to meet them in person, but I have the feeling that we align on many ideas. And certainly the idea of what a good leader of a video game company is and how they should treat their employees. And um, if they are being so enthusiastic about the, the new leadership of Blizzard, I'm, I'm like trustful about it. And I'm saying, okay, it's important because we are entering a new era for World of Warcraft. There's a new cycle, there's a trilogy, but also there's a new vibe, there's a new atmosphere, there's a new intention. And you still have some people that are well-known names that have been taking care of World of Warcraft in a very long time. So there's this mix of new and ancient mixed up together. Like there's really the best of the best. And I have the feeling that it's going to be really good. But no, it might not be great. Maybe it's going to be a total fiasco. But I want to be there to see it. I want to be there to live it, not just to see it from afar, but to be present, to be back to World of Warcraft when they start their new era and to see how it aligns with what I've enjoyed about the game, what I enjoy about the game. It is really exciting because even to have not been the most loyal and most dedicated World of Warcraft player you will find, I have started with the European beta in January 2005. I've been playing World of Warcraft only and exclusively and intensively and way too much, way too much for six years. And then I've been on and off I've known every expansion except for Dragonflight, which seems that I've missed out one of the best, which is really sad, but you know, whatever. Um, but I don't want to miss out anymore. I want to be present. I want to be there for the war within. I want to be present and ready to experience um, the whole series of expansion, the whole trilogy. And whatever it will be, may it be good or bad, I want to be present. And on the other side, I'm extremely excited to see what they are going to do with Classic as well. So that's another part of World of Warcraft I'm very eager to see the evolution of. How they are going to renew and reinvent the way of uh, presenting that classic version of the game to player. Will they develop more of it? That would be really insane and super fantastic. I would love that. That they are making a new expansion for World of Warcraft Classic, but in the classic style, that would be really, really, really cool. So there is, you know, a, a lot of excitement around World of Warcraft. And for me, it's going back to the source, but at the same time, awaiting for the future and uh, seeing something I've known for 20 years evolving. It's extremely exciting. It's really, really exciting for me. And so I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be there and um, I'm ready, ready to enjoy myself and to share that enthusiasm and my experience, good or bad, with you guys. So, I hope you will be excited as well to follow me in that regard. Some of you may have been following me for Elder Scroll Online and this is really different, but hopefully you're going to have fun with me anyway. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope you're all doing well. If you want to see me live, you can check me on Twitch. I'm streaming in Bristol Drift every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. The Fridays for Season of Discovery, I stream sometimes the Saturday and I'm ending every stream with some World of Warcraft action as well because I think I deserve a little hour just for myself to end the stream where I can progress my personal character. There it is! So, very excited for the future, guys. You take care of yourself. I will see you soon. Bye, everyone!